<laughs> November 12th, 2017. Y'all are listening to What's Happening in Cleveland with your host, Kevin Hello. Baird. Brian Baird. Don Anderson. And from Cleveland, Ohio, Larry Mack. Hey, we're there at all. We weren't on last week because there was a storm. And it, it wasn't... Kevin gets us scared. It wasn't... <laughs> It wasn't that bad, like sounding, but I, when I like went outside the next day, like there were all these trees down and <laughs> bodies everywhere. Yeah, and... it, it sounded a lot like it was like a lot worse than it really was. Is this all I heard on the fucking? <laughs> I, I went to go drop my daughter off today, and uh, they had a little trampoline in their yard. I was like, "You guys get a trampoline?" She goes, "Yeah," and I was like, "Wow, why'd you get a trampoline?" She goes, "Well, we woke up and it was in the yard." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. I guess they were saying like maybe a tar- tornado had touched down in Strongsville, and it was funny because I looked at my phone, and it was like there's a tornado warning, which is like the one where they've seen the tornado, you know, and it's like this will expire at like six thirty six, and it was like six thirty seven <laughs> when I was looking at it. I was like, so All I right. could be dead. I could be dead right now, and I just this is completely pointless. Like, thank you for not alerting me to whatever was going. Cleveland's really not good with the tornado predictions. I've come to realize that. That one in Brunswick they didn't predict. I mean, it only knocked over somebody's shed, I think, at one point. Right. So, well, see, I don't know that it's their bad at predicting them. I think it's they never actually happen here. So as soon as something gets knocked down in a high wind, they're like, oh, we had a tornado. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, like, it's, it's like the weather people trying to justify their existence because, like, weather-wise, shit doesn't happen here. Like we get blizzards, that's about it. Yeah, and sometimes we don't even really we get we get blizzard like conditions. They always throw that. Yeah, I mean it's been there. a while since we have a good blizzard. Right. Yeah. It's like uh global warming. Not much uh we get flooding. We get a lot of flooding. There's always like this danger of you just being in your car and being mm-hmm. washed away by some flood. Yeah, like when I lived over on the east side in uh Slavic <laughs> Village for a while. Um for those of you who don't know Cleveland, over on the east side, we got this stretch of highway that somebody at some point decided it made perfect sense to stick basically in a very narrow valley. So we have this stretch of highway that just floods anytime it rains, even a little bit. Like oh. to the point where like cars disappear in this thing. Hmm. Yeah, I mean they were they were rescuing people off the highway or something. They were like, I was about to drown. And I was thinking, were you really were you really about to drown in your car? Dude, I dude, I'm telling you, that stretch of seventy seven right by like Newburgh Heights. Yeah. It's like ten feet below ground level. Like no one thought maybe that might be a problem. <laughs> Isn't that where you used to live? Ten feet below yeah. Water level. Ground level, yeah. That'd be weird. You just drive it. <laughs> Under, tunnel. Underground. Thing. All right, let's uh, catch up with everybody. Brian, right, stop playing your game for a minute. Press pause. Pause. Hello. Pause your game. You still with us, Brian? Okay. Don? Hey. You want to go ahead and tell us how your week went? They lost. Yeah, I was lost there for a second, too. But now I'm back. Okay. Uh, Yeah, it was, it was a great week. That was a great week. I got a um, – The I went to work the other day. And they have this thing, you know, you got servers and food runners. There's a different servers work the tables, food runners run food. And uh, they're have, they have this ongoing contest with whoever runs the food the fastest gets to pick their own shift for the following week. So they're right. just throwing it through the window in the back? Just... They're just Yeah, they're just like, hey, you know, whoever gets it, hey, you know, you're the, you're the best guy there is. And it's like, well, that's not true. You know, because, well, it's not. Doesn't quality just kind of suffer when they're just running out to the table, throwing the plates yeah. down really quick? Right, not even seeing if it's, like, the right ones. <laughs> you know. They chuck the plate thing. at them from across the room. They're just dropping Fun a stuff stack like of plates right on the table. Yeah. There you go. And so, so it turns out the boss tells me, he's like, hey, you won. He's like, you, you win. There goes Brian. He's like, you've won, and you get to pick your shift next week. What shift do you want? And I'm like, I don't care. Just put me on the schedule. I'm like, I don't, you know, it doesn't matter to me when I work. I just want to, I just need to work. So how about just put me on the schedule, whatever you want. And then I looked at him and I said, 
but don't give me this shift or this shift because there's just some stations I don't like. Right. So what does he do? Just gives me, <laughs> he gives me a double of the station that I didn't want. And I just, I'm just like, he's like, there you go. I hooked you up. And I was like, no, you didn't. You screwed me. Like, it's not what I want to do. <laughs> and, and so – I had so so. There's that. So I got to deal with that. And the thing is, there's there's not enough shifts going around now. So I have to I have to take whatever they give me because if I I can't just drop it because there's nothing else to take. So there's that going on. And then I had a little bit of fantasy football drama this week. Uh-oh. Uh, Uh-oh. Yeah, this is good. Larry, you're into fantasy football, correct? Uh, yeah, not really. Okay, then, then go fuck yourself. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm familiar with it. I've played it. I'm not playing this year, but well, you've watched the league. Well, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I love okay, the so so this is this will work for you. So so we're playing. I got this league going on, and it's got like all the normal characters. You know, Clint's in there. Corber's playing. Gilly, yeah. Melville, like guys you got. You know, half you guys know. Yeah. And uh, so Corber's in third place in the whole league. Top six go to the playoffs. And he tries to make a trade with Melville, who's in seventh place, out of the play or eighth place, out of the out of the playoffs, and losing. Okay. And he wants to trade. Jason Corver's giving up Matt Ryan for Tom Brady straight up. Okay. And I said, that's not a, that's that's not an even trade. It's not a fair trade. <laughs> Tom Brady's a way better quarterback than Matt Ryan because right. he is. He's got six. 16 touchdowns, two interceptions compared to Matt Ryan's like 12 touchdowns and like seven interceptions. Right. And I'm like, that's not fair. That's, that's collusion. That's the guy in the bottom giving up his. Yeah, it is. It's the guy at the bottom giving. He's like, I don't have a chance. Take all my best players. You go and try to win. So it's kind of like cheating because, you know, that's not, that's not fair. Well, no, I, I don't care. I'm, I'm out of the playoffs anyways. I don't give a shit. Don't it's my league. you guys have like no trades though on certain players? Like that's well, that's what, what you should be. Right. That's that's what, that's what it should. Is. Right. The first, if your first round player, you shouldn't be able to trade him, and that was Melville's first pick. So I'm like, no, I disallow it. I said you can't have. It. I, I I vetoed it because I'm the commissioner. Okay. I'm ruled that. with an iron fist, right? So I I vetoed it. Melville calls me, says, "Hey man, who vetoed that?" I go, "I did. I don't think it was fair as the commissioner. I don't think it was fair with the stats and the points and da da." He goes, "All right, I'll take that." And I'm like, "Okay, good." Corber <laughs> flipped his shit. He <laughs> fucking, he's, he's, he's texting me. Who did this? And I said, I did it. And he's like, what? Why did you do that? What if this isn't fair? And I said, well, you know, uh, let me see if I can Tough. find this here. Uh, <laughs> here's, here it is. He's like, that's, he goes, that's, I, I said, yeah, I vetoed it. It wasn't fair in my opinion. He goes, well, that's bullshit in my opinion. The one time I have a chance to win instead of the same people winning all the time, you're not getting any money from me. I'm done. <laughs> hey, man, this is football. It's always the same teams that win. Come on. Right? And so, well, not even that. It's just whoever drafts the better players. That's all. So I'm like, whatever. If you would have had to bench players, I gave him all this stuff. I said, if you would have done this, if you would have done this, I would have okayed it. I said, just turn around and go change it. Go change it and do it again and you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, throw do what else you in. want. Yeah, yeah. Make it, make it. I said I, I would do that. And then I asked him. I was like, "Would you do it if you were, if you, <laughs> if you were losing and had Brady?" And he goes, "He goes, uh, if I was losing and didn't have a chance, yeah, I would to help someone out. I was trying to win. You're being biased because you're in the hunt, and that's totally unfair, in my opinion. <laughs> and it's like everybody in the league's in the hunt. It's not just me. You know what I mean? It's like, and I'm, and I'm below. I'm below everybody. I'm the worst." You know, it's like, this is my league. What are you talking about? So he flipped out and left, dumped all his players or half, to, half his players to the waiver wire so that anybody could pick him up. Completely ruined everything about the whole year, about the whole season. Ruined because he because I didn't allow a trade for him. And he's just like, whatever. He's like a five-year-old. So I had to put up with that. But luckily, I'm the commissioner, so I got special, I got special powers. I just took over his team. And I'm just running it for him, and then I, I'm 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 hoping I'm going to trade my good players to his team, make his team win, and then call him up and be like, "Hey, man, thanks a lot for letting me win the Super Bowl." <laughs> yeah, that's so, that'll go over well. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sure it. next year he'll be lining himself up just to. Oh, there will be no next year for him. He's done. Oh, okay. He's so done. Let it be written. So shall it be done? I don't. I don't take that. 
Send Moses was, into the desert. He was the one making the jokes at the beginning of the season saying, oh, Holiday's going to be the first one to flip out. He's the first one to melt down. He, he won't last the whole season. Well, well I mean, that, that does, that, I mean, that does have some fact behind it. I mean, mm-hmm. It does. It's just funny that he's now the one that flamed out. Right. That's it. Uh, that's, uh, that's all that I got. I don't think I got anything. There's two weeks. Yeah, I mean, I got I got other stuff with. Oh, there was two weeks, right? Two weeks or so. I went to, went to Adams and did a live Facebook video from Adams' porch. Oh my God. Last I one saw of the that season. was coming on, but I had other shit. Yeah, well, more important probably, which would be pretty much that, which means basically you had to pee or you had to go to bed Look or up something. Look up from something I was doing. I went, uh. Right. right so back. you didn't miss nothing anyways. It was just a fire in us ripping on Adam. So there you go. That was my week. Packards went on that kiss cruise and I was just thinking, do you like wake up every morning to like, I want to rock and roll and party yeah. every, you know, party every day. Yeah. Or... <coughs> Three bands that work different shifts. <laughs> just constantly playing the same song. Yeah. Same racket <laughs> over and over. Is kiss even on the kiss cruise? Do they show up for anything? Like that? Yeah. Well, that's why they're there. They play. Oh, do they? I just not like them though. I don't know anything about it. That's all right. Which are old men in a boat. Yeah. I mean, right. And they're bored wives. Mm-hmm. I'm sure yeah, they look right. 70s. They're probably in their 70s. <laughs> right. They are. As a matter of fact. Yeah. They're getting old. Everybody's getting old. All right, Brian. Kevin. Let's hear about your last two weeks. Uh, well, uh, two weeks ago, I, I had to drive through snow. It wasn't a big deal, but it was sort of like, you know, the first snow of the year for everybody else. It's like, oh, look, it's so magical. And truck driving is like, oh, shit. Here we go. You know, it's begun, oh, shit, you know. It came down pretty hard. I was, like, uh, just south of Flint. And, um, I mean, it was snowing, like, pretty hard. I mean, it was still too warm for it to stick. So you're not real worried about it, but it still sucks. Um, other than that, I mean, that was, like, the only real bad weather that I hit, except for the, you know, perpetual rain we seem to have forever. And finally that let up. And it's been nothing but uh, sunny fall days, all the, you know, the days I've been working. That's when it's not, you know, pitch black at nighttime and shit. Um, it just seems like, you know, now that we're getting close to like the end of the year, as is usual every year, I'm not like, like it's a big surprise. You're like, oh my God, did you guys ever notice how it's always darker and darker? It's not like that. It's, oh my God, it's know. so dark out. Yeah. It's wow. Just same time of year all the time. Somebody oh stuck into it. It's cold I'm, outside. I'm sure somebody on Facebook will never put one of those things up that says, uh, fall isn't always that, or you think fall is always dark and this is why you're wrong or some shit, you know, because it's just always a crap you got to read on that. But anyway, uh. Let me see. I've watched a couple of movies that came out, mostly iTunes type stuff. Um, I posted one today, Blade of the Immortal, based off the manga comic or whatever. I saw the preview for it uh, a couple months ago, and it's it's over two hours. It's like uh, two hours fifteen minutes or something, you know, long. And I wasn't disappointed, but you know, for anybody who's interested in it, it is a little slow at parts. There's some conversation that does take place. It's just. Not one huge battle that goes on the entire time. So, Kevin, you'll have no interest. Um, but for the rest of you, you'll actually like plot. Um, you know, you'll probably enjoy it. Uh, so let boring. me see. There's parts that are kind of slow. Um, the uh, villain, I watched The Villainous, which is, I, from what I'm where I read, it was Quentin, how Quentin Tarantino got kind of the idea for Kill Bill. And you could totally see it in the movie. Like, I'm not certain if it's actually true. Because, you know, you're reading it off the internet, so who knows how fucking true that crap is. But um, for a, you know, for what it was, it's, you know, you're, you're watching it like, yeah, it's a lot of action. Um, if you want to know what the movies that I'm talking about are about, just go online and read about it because I'll just butcher it. But, um, it, you know, because it's uh, the original version and from Asia, of course, I don't want to say Japan because I'll probably fuck it up. And it's probably China for all I know. But um, it's good, but there's just parts where you're going to go, huh? You know, it's just it's gonna be some just some parts are just not gonna make a whole lot of fucking sense. They may they may make sense to you. I won't lie and say that occasionally I wasn't carrying around my iPad watching a movie and then would like try to make myself a drink and I may have like skipped over something. But because uh, you know on occasion the shit does move a little quick. I won't lie. And let me see what else. And then today I uh, not to, not today yesterday I watched Mayhem, which has uh, the Asian guy who died on The Walking Dead whose name I cannot remember. Um, <laughs> But uh, he was really good. It's like a horror slash comedy flick where people are stuck in this office and they re- there's some sort of 
virus that gets released, of course, it's not a real virus, so people can calm down before they go, it's not real, they're lying, you know. Um, and basically, it makes all your inhibitions just go away. So if you're really sad, you'll end up killing yourself. You're really angry about something, and it's a, like a like a high-power office of legal people. So needless to say, they're kind of already on edge, um, very cutthroat. And then it's just like, you know, it's somebody's. the movie was basically somebody's wish fulfillment. Um, but it was still pretty good. It was pretty entertaining. Just people who work in an office. It's kind of funny to me to watch. You know, come in and see how people's. Uh, I mean, obviously, I don't walk in offices where it suddenly plagues are released where they get to go ape shit. But um, at least I don't think I do. They might. You know, I don't work. In, I don't work with other people except on occasion where I have to get on my truck and interact with them, and I do that as little as possible because I want to, you know, immediately get back in the truck and leave as quick as you know I can because I don't want to talk. But. Uh, you know, so it's always interesting to see how supposedly, even over the top, how office people are supposed to react towards one another. And, uh, they, you know, they just freak out in this. But um, otherwise, I, I found it pretty entertaining. And uh, Christmas is coming up in a month or so. What did you do for I, Halloween? I, I had to work. So there was no Halloween. I had to get up the next day at like 1230 in the morning. So that was that. There was no Halloween. There isn't for me. I mean, for everybody else. There's but... no Halloween. Get away. Go on. There is no Halloween in this house. Yeah, I don't take the kid trick or treating. Apparently, you know, she came home. She came home with loot, which I thieve every so often, and then she chases me around the house. It's fun. Um, which I've done for years. Yeah. Uh, oh, I had. I had his kids Halloween candy. What's the matter with you? Our parents did the same thing. Oh, look, there's a pinhole. I got to get rid of it. Oh, no. I, I had a dream that Kevin and I were little kids, except Kevin. I was told that he's not my brother to stop calling him that. He's my sister. Yeah, that's true. And, and it was really weird because in dreams, you've got no control over that shit. But I thought, you know, I'm like, that's that's not, I mean, it's Kevin. He's, he's my brother. No, that's your sister. And, and then Brian yeah, was trying to hump me. It wasn't, it was obviously not, no, we were like little kids. And it was like, you know, obviously it wasn't really you in the dream. It was some chick. But in the dream, it's technically you, you know, because you have no, you know, there's no... I see no reality whatsoever. Think about me. It's fine. Yeah. So what I do think, <laughs> what I think about you, Kevin, I think I'm pretty like Kevin's a woman, a young child of a woman, yeah, a, 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 ch- a little girl, yeah. whiny. Yeah. That high pitched voice you had as a kid probably didn't help. The people yeah, of authority well, telling you so. I, we, 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 <laughs> it's always He's shocking when you, if you hear Kevin or my voice when we were really young because you know obviously we were younger and our voices were not you know the balls didn't drop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now that we have now, you know, so then you hear us on like some old cassette tape. And it's like, hi, hey, we're gonna get together. Me, I don't know. You must have those cassette tapes. I hope I do. I really hope I do because I'd like to be able to publish them someday. Sertron that fell in the toilet five times. So, and still works as opposed to like an iPhone where you get a drop of rainwater. It's like, and that's it, you know. Um. Those what really else cheap have... cassette tapes that you tried to record over a second time, but, and then when you play it back, you could still hear the music playing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like having, like, oh, wow, it's like almost like a movie, you know. And then that never worked. Um, what else did I watch? I watched The Arrival, where squids basically landed and then tried to talk, and it's really slow. I enjoyed it just because I thought it was an interesting take, you know, on the genre, but it had a lot of chick stuff in it which I thought kind of like I understood why it was in the movie but I also thought it just made it slower than it really needed to be it was already slow to begin with you know they're trying to make it like well here's some tense moments you know so it was like a kind of a cookie cutter I, but I did think the aliens were interesting and in, like I haven't actually seen anybody do that before and I don't think I would have lasted 10 seconds where I would have saw like some 20 foot tall floating squid thing that just was like you know went, ah! you know hair turned gray just died right there you should watch I know when they... a, a dark song. A dark song? Yeah, it's new. It's um, was it on Netflix or uh, Amazon? I think you got paid for it. Um, all right. But if it comes out that. eventually, watch it because it's about this woman who wants to um, Have talk a baby. to her dead son. So she get she enlists this guy, and they start going through this whole like ritual in order yeah. to like uh, a dark son. A dark song. Oh, dark song. And they um. You know, they, they're doing all this, like, evil shit in order to, like, make this shit happen. And then it gets really weird at the end, but it's really good. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's on uh, iTunes. I'll give it a look. 
It's, it's mm. You'd like it. It's oh, yeah. I mean, you know, but there's, there's like a lot of movies out like that where it's uh, no, typically that's the kiss of death for me where I'll see the intro and it's like a grieving couple like out. No, it's not. It's not like that. At no all. interest. It's not. Yeah. It's not like that at all. It's you got to watch it. It's it's really fucked up is what it is. Yeah, I'm looking at the cover and some chick in her underwear and a guy's rubbing oil on her back. So I can see there's that's I'm in. That's all I needed to see, really. An unholy alliance between two damn damaged souls. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm telling you, it's not a bunch of crying and shit. I'm t there's like no, <laughs> yeah, because there's no crying. I'm telling you right now. It's well, that was like that. Was that an, it was like that Antichrist movie with Willem Dafoe. And as soon as I see him in anything these days, like you know, every third movie that he's in, even I don't know how old that guy is, but he, they're still ripping his clothes off when he's banging some broad. That's Lars. You know? That's Lars von Trier. That's some weird fucking. Oh my god! I had no idea. I watched it and I'm like, oh, might as well just. Maybe if I watch it, they'll stop trying to stuff it down my throat on everything I'm looking at. You know, I just assumed that if you do that, the commercials go away. And I watched it. It was actually, there were some really fucked up moments, man. Yeah. Like, Jesus. That's, that goes with Melancholy and, like, two other movies that yeah. Lars von Trier was doing about depression. Yeah. Um, other than that, um, just playing still Diablo 3, and I got to, like, Paragon status, which is nothing new at all. But they did open up some new, like, some, they're new to me. Some zones I hadn't been in before. And I'm like, oh, this, I haven't explored out here. I'm playing the Necromancer, so you can bring back just about anything that you killed, which is kind of helpful. Just only bring back an army that was trying to destroy you and turn them against your enemies. Plus, you're draining their souls, so or blood, or whatever. The fucking gory bullshit they got in there. You know, like, th th that game is sort of like either you're doing really well or you're just getting smoked. You know, like, I've got the, what is it? Yeah, I played the Barbarian for a while. And that, that just gets to be such a pain in the ass. Um... Because you can only really attack like one thing at a time, and there's just too much shit in that game that can just like keep knocking you back. I'm like, oh fuck, I can't hit shit. You know. Meanwhile, these other ones can like raise an army, like destroy my pretties, you know, and they just fly it, whatever the fuck you're fighting. Um, and uh, Elder Scrolls still, and that's pretty much you know family stuff, boring, okay, old man lifestyle. Larry, how was your last two weeks? Shitty. Um, so let's see, last two weeks. Would you be free? It was Halloween, and then... Yeah, officially, officially, officially burned out at work. Um, but, I mean, we do those stories every week. Um, <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Oh, I, uh, went to visit my friends at the, uh, child support agency, because, you oh, know... Oh, God. You're not done with that yet. Well, okay, well okay, like, now I'm receiving. Well... In theory. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Theoretically. Um, <laughs> and, I, and I got this notice saying, uh, hey, we're, we're letting you know that uh, your your ex-wife now has um, medical insurance available, so now she has to carry medical insurance. So uh, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I, I already have it. Like, so, like, I went to their website, and I was like, hey, um, I already have it. I really don't want her to provide it because we spent two years with me paying for half of this when she wasn't providing it anyway. So I just want to do it. Like, I got this. It's fine. And, of course, they don't respond. So I, uh, I went down to the office and, you know, showed them. I was like, I got this form. And the chick at the desk is like reads it over and calls somebody. She's like, she'll be right down. And so the caseworker comes down a little while later and she's like pulled the file and she's got everything all highlighted and I was like okay we're gonna get this squared away and she starts explaining it to me and she's like well as you can see in the uh, amended order they factored in this much for you and that's for the health insurance blah 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 and she's like and unfortunately if you want to get that changed you're gonna have to go back in front of the judge and I was like I don't want to change it and she looks at me like what? She she called and said you 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 wanted your your you wanted the mother to be paying for child or for the health care. I was like no no no, this letter says you guys wanted to pay for the health care and I'm already doing it. And she's like that's not what that says. I was like I'm pretty sure this is what this says. And she looks at it. She's like hold on, where, where, where's it saying that? I like show her like the second paragraph and she's looking at it. She's like oh, and she like scribbles out Vicky's name and writes in mine. She's like yeah, it's oops. 
That's hilarious. And I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, so, like, when somebody shows up at my door, because I'm now in, like, contempt of court, can I just show them that you scribbled out the name? Yeah, that, that sounds very legal. And, like, I'm yeah. good, or? She's like, no, that's fine. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Seems legit to me. Yeah, um, let's see what else. Um, get over here at my calendar to see what I missed. Oh, so uh, yeah, so um, Susie and I and half of Kevin um, <laughs> busted out the trivia this week. Kev- Kevin wandered in for like the last question or something. Just cause... to derail it, just to, <laughs> just to completely make us lose. That's what I'm here yeah. for. Yeah. Um, he's all like, I got, I got to vote stuff. You know, I, get, like, I get out at 6. The trivia starts at 6. I gotta go home and let the dog out. Okay. And then I did stop the vote. See? Which is more important things. to you, Kevin? Uh, a bond issue? Appar- or apparently, whatever our team is? Listen, my vote never matters because I'm against the grain every time that like all the old people just want to pay for everything that the, they want to pass, apparently. Because whenever I when I just say no to everything, because they're gonna get their money eventually, but I just want to drag it out. Apparently, all the old people in North Royalton are just happy to just throw their money down the drain. So, hooray for the port authority for getting their money, and the firemen EMTs for getting their money, and Tri C for getting their money. I mean, great, just great great on all of that and then whatever thing i might have said yes to that also didn't pass so <laughs> i just i'm uh, you know people say why do you go vote and it's like because i, don't even I know. should but, you'll get shamed on facebook if you don't but it's just, I'm, I'm always waiting just for that one time where the vote is completely split and it's just one vote makes the difference right. and i can be like ha ha that was yeah. mine you yeah know? But so far, not Hasn't even happened. close. Never even close. <laughs> not even in my own ward. I'm always yeah. way off. Yeah, even when, yeah, even when like the whatever I'm voting for does pass, or whichever candidate I vote for does win, it's always like you know, seventy percent to thirty percent. It's like, yeah, they. Good thing they had my support helping them out then. <laughs> yeah, that was crucial. Um, so yeah, we uh, busted out the trivia, did some drinking, and some win in because you know because we're just super smart then um they're smart uh, I'm not. i think i got everything wrong all, <laughs> i when they asked which president had the same last name or two presidents that were not related had the same last name we got it right but my best answer was that johnson and johnson might have been the name of that company because of presidents <laughs> that is true which is legit. That's legit. Well, uh, it, it seems like a funky rationale. Like, what are we going to name our company? Well, you know, we had two President Johnsons. Why don't we name ourselves after them? Johnson and Johnson. Well, yeah, but what does it have to do with our company? Nothing, but it would be totally cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. We'll look, through the, we'll look through the history and we'll find out that it was actually those two unrelated presidents who formed the company. Yeah, the two guys on the Muppet. The two old guys on the Muppet show. That yeah. sent in fact. <laughs> They'll be like, oh my God, our- our, you know, our, our chief competitor is unleashing a new product next month. We, we need to find out what Grover Cleveland Incorporated is up to. Yeah. Although I think um, we could have used Anderson a little bit because he knows all of those ridiculous children's things that we don't know. Although Susie did pretty good with them. But the kids stuff, Anderson's always good with Because that's, yeah. he's got a kid and he's watching yes, he, all the kids. Yes, stuff. he like, I was all excited two weeks ago when they're like, it's going to be a theme each week. Because I was like, dude, when we get, like, the uh, video game console theme. <laughs> yeah, that's going to happen. That, of course, that'll be when Kevin shows up at, you know, 8.20 for, like, Final Jeopardy or something. I will be on time like, this Tuesday because I, I don't have to work. Kevin just walks in. Sleeve stack. <laughs> what? The answer is... That'll, that'll be the day he gets... That'll be the day he gets hit in the head and has amnesia. Dude, these questions this guy asks, like, they're, you know, they're not simple. I mean, like, what did he say? He was like, which country in World War II lost, like, 13.7% of its total population? Uh, I don't even know that. See, and I was like, damn, I wish Kevin was here, because he would totally be like, well, you know. In the beginning. You know, back in. Yeah. 
Hold on, hang on. I know Belgium was around 11.5%. Like the um, beginning time. Russia was England, close to 25. Ukraine yeah, yeah. took a beating, but it, t- the answer is Poland. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Chris, Chris Poland. Japan had nuclear bombs dropped on it, so who knows what that mattered to them. And firebomb, but... Like, you're supposed to know, like, these questions are hard, and you can't use your phone if anybody's thinking, oh, just look it over my phone. Although, they're they're really not checking. I think some of our competition is totally cheating at bar trivia. It's my opinion. I don't know. I, I mean, first of all, you got to be pretty low to cheat at that. People are low. Like, I mean, if your life is that pathetic, it's, we're like... Well, it is Park Tavern. I mean... <laughs> I, I don't even know what you mean by that statement. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Just kidding. But whenever I read the police blotter, there's always something going down. <laughs> there's never anything at the park there. tower. There always is. Are you kidding? There's always. I've there. I have never seen or heard a, of an incident at the park tower. A fight in the parking lot. Some guy trying to break in in the middle of the night. Um. Oh, so today, in addition to watching the Browns, um. Soprano Rob stopped by, so now I officially have a uh, Soprano Rob gaming table <laughs> for uh, for when nobody comes down to play games. Sorry. Uh, true. Yay for the game table. Well, when you decide to have a game, Larry, I'm not looking forward to it, but I will attend. So you got better, <laughs> better shirts and stuff. Well, oh, just, I got my- it'll be the hardest game ever. We won't get yeah. any loot. At level one, here comes the uh, the kobold army. Rusty weapons. No, we you get well, one I ballista, do. but it's on fire. Piece of flint. Yeah. That just breaks. No, no metal that you can knock it against. Just a piece of flint. <laughs> okay, you have defeated the mighty warlord Tyrannus. You loot him and find five silver pieces and, and a dull knife. Yeah. Right. right. You laugh, but that's how it is. <laughs> it was not like that. I it was it was, don't let him lie. And if you do find something, roll for encumbrance. I no, can't carry that. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally, it's totally too heavy. You're wimpy. You're weak. You can't carry it. In fact, drop drop half that stuff you have. <laughs> Can I have you? Let me just erase this and this. Well, can okay. I pick what I don't want? No. <laughs> I'll, I'll decide what you your character decides they need. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now first of all, I do not typically enforce the encumbrance rules. That's because you... Because they're a pain in the ass, that's why. And, 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 I mean, there is something to be said for, like, the suspension of disbelief where, you know... It is a fantasy game, I mean. Yeah, it's a fantasy game. We we don't need to get into how much you're carrying and is that going to slow you down. But you geniuses decided you were going to start looting, like, marble statues and throw them (laughs) in your backpacks. Well, that's <laughs> what we do. It's like, it's like yeah. how, much, how much does my dwarf think it's worth? Well, it's probably worth, you know, 10, 20,000 gold. We're taking it. I'm like, it's like a half ton. Yeah. Two of us can carry it, though. <laughs> yeah, we got a wheelbarrow. <laughs> I said we got a wheelbarrow, but it'll be full of termites. Because so we didn't have anything to else to loot. <laughs> that's, we were just, we Nothing. were desperate at that point. We had gone through this dungeon. We needed something to bring back. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! We're taking his castle. So one person on each corner will just carry it to town. We would have skinned the dead bodies in order to sell them for leather or something. <laughs> make some money. Not that we could have bought anything. You'd probably make the town and not have anything for sale. <laughs> the or it's like what's There's price nothing price. for sale anyplace. What color is that armor? No stores. No food. <laughs> nothing. Is, is, is that color in that armor purple? <laughs> yeah, that means it's epic. You can't afford it. Dull wood uh, knives. <laughs> okay, so I can afford the armor that's got a gray tag. Yeah, that... Dude, this has got a hole in it. Well, yeah. Over the chest. Uh, right. Well, the last... Right. Yeah, the last guy that had it, he had a problem. Yeah. yeah. Evidently. Yeah, you might want to wear that, like, backwards. While, yeah. while, you're, while you're trying to... This armor to has shop, breasts, dude. Fifteen dark elves descend upon you. <laughs> yeah. At the uh, at the Riding Kmart dragons. There in uh, <laughs> Fantasyland, you go to change your clothes in the changing room. There's a giant spider. Yeah, I close the door. 
That's the one thing Larry has no re- like. Re- you're like Larry. Just I close the door and he's like, "Well, okay, we move on then," because he just doesn't have any <laughs> any repose re- against not wanting to get eaten by creatures, especially when the music changes. And it's like, oh shit, he's changing the fucking music. Now hold on, guys. That doesn't mean anything's wrong. <laughs> then he just then he looks at you and you're like, "This is gonna be bad." <laughs> Okay, so the music starts up. Uh, yeah, we're not going in there. <laughs> Lord Soth is staring at you. We close the door. Lord Soth is sad. Fuck. I guess I've, got, got, that, one. I've got that one uh, zombie game, but you'd have to get there a little bit early to put the characters together, and basically you're playing yourself. Yeah, and that everybody that's playing with you has to vote on whether or not, like, like let's say Don decides that uh, he's got like four stamina. We were like, no, dude, you're clearly a two. Because it's like one through five. Hey. You know, it's like, no. I, play, I used to play soccer. Just stop. <laughs> we don't care about who you used to be, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're all sitting well. there, you know, getting getting bushwhacked. Yeah, but, by yeah, but then how, how much fun is that game? Because you wind up with, you know, oh, four, I'm, I'm, I'm certain four dudes fucking, that have I'm a one a in ball, everything man. trying to fight off zombies. I'm certain it would be fucking fantastic to see how everybody would survive, you know, because they've got like they've got like a bunch of shit. There's got like four different books of like aliens attack, if nature attacks, you know, it's all this different shit. Like it's the end of the world. It's all end of the world shit. And then they got one for zombies, and they got all different guys. Like you, you, they got one where you shoot the zombie in the head, and absolutely nothing happens. It just keeps coming at you. It's like, well, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's all I got. So it would be like that game where your your character, my character, were hanging from the barbed wire upside down. You know, the, well, dogs. Kevin's were, yeah, fucking... Kevin's fucking. Did you, did you roll? Did you bring this tool with you? Yeah. There's Kevin's... no fucking special forces kit where you just. Kevin's game where even though we were like highly trained Navy SEALs, I think I like broke my wrist trying to like tie my shoe or something. Yeah. yeah. I failed the roll. Every fucking important <laughs> roll, and we couldn't shoot shit. Nothing. Everything we shot at was clearly not the enemy. <laughs> In fact, I think one of us shot each other by mistake. That was like, some fun shit when, like, you it was funny. half paralyzed and you were trying See, to I think get was, the I think the best, the most fun was when uh, Donnie, or not Anderson, but um, Cease. Cease was there. Cease. Yeah, and he got a little drunk. And he's just like, what's, what's over here by the edge of the table? I'm like, ah! Oh! little miniatures and shit. So he just fell off. And <laughs> he just... Going ape shit, That's man. the one with Brian's scarecrow suit and the yeah. can of Blask. Blask. Yeah. <laughs> scarecrow suit and Blask. The scarecrow suit, I'm just guessing, was some sort of like something to hide in. But the the, the Blask, I'm like, I, that's that Flask. <laughs> and I looked at you guys, and you're all like, you're merely like just unasked me. You're like, no, don't ask us. We got no fucking clue. I have no idea what your drunk ass will grow up. Yeah, I'm together. like, ah, oh, Jesus. It's like, it started off sober because I could see my stats, but then things got a little blurry when I got down to equipment. <laughs> you know, like, I don't, guys, I don't know what this says. Well, better figure it out. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it says whatever we really need right now. Yeah. Unbelievable. Okay, Larry, anything else? Nah, that's all I got. I gave out candy for Halloween. And, uh, did you? Did yeah. the kids come and just stare at you? I out full-size candy bars. And oh, man, probably. I'm bringing my kid to your house next year. One little girl was like th- telling her brother, she's like, this is why I come all the way over here. Because this... <laughs> it's like, hey, okay. You knew when he goes to sleep gonna tonight, give... we're going to kill him. Large this guy's the bomb. Candy bars. Uh, I have plenty left over if you want any. It, I expected more kids, but... Oh, uh, he'll have it there for like the next six months. The I mean. weather was freezing cold, so I got like half the kids. So I have like about 50 full-size candy bars. It was cold. Left in the house. Yeah, it, was it was chilly. That was... Um, yeah, I'm, I, I refuse to say that it's cold because I know that that shit's just waiting. It was crisp. Right. That's about it, really. I mean, you know, I did. I got my car's oil changed, and uh, I've got a um, got a video game, and uh, I'm playing that Prey, and it's fun. I saw that Skyrim VR has been announced for PlayStation VR. And I'm not buying Skyrim again. As much as I would probably like to play that, I'm not buying Skyrim again. I'm not doing it. I have four fucking copies of that game that I don't I don't really care for it as much as like say Oblivion or Elder Scrolls Online 
and yet that's the one I have the most copies of. They're not going to get me with a fifth. Fuck them. <laughs> they can make a new copy of Sky or a new Elder Scrolls game. They probably me. should. I mean, I know they got the online game, which I'm still playing, but you know, it's very different graphics. They really should probably, up, you know, get a new one because I've, I've heard that you know, because I mean, what was it? Fallout 4 was a complete surprise. I don't think anybody was expecting that bitch to come out. And also, I was like, oh, look. Right. No, I agree. Yeah, I mean, well, it and just, it was like, we're going to have that in like it. no time. It was like, ooh. They were making fun of it on one of those things online. They were like, uh, saying, like, Skyrim on your watch. You know, like, that'll be yeah. the next thing. Um, no, I just can't do it. But I, I do really kind of want to do the VR thing with that. But no, I'm not playing the game yet. It'll just kill me. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a long game. That's why. <laughs> it's not like it's not like you have to do the walking, man. I mean, it's, it's not like well, you're, in VR. Oh, you you kind of do. It's the dragon comes down for the 80th time. Oh, that's always that's always suck when you're about to go talk to somebody. And you're tired. All of a sudden, you hear that. Oh, like oh, can't you fuckers fight off your own dragon? There's a whole city full of warriors, for God's sake, magic users, and all sorts of bullshit. This town, this town's got all these super warriors, the, the, the fellowship of whatever the fuck they were called. Don't there's they just, fight? There's just some no. stuff as well. They just need to balance some things out. Like <clears throat> you, you collect all of these potions that you basically never use for anything. It, you know the potions. Oh yeah, you use potions. You just got to just. You I know. don't know why. What for? You can. Kill I, that, I mean, it is kind really of useless. Easily. You get a really high level, then it's then that's just like oh, I know in Oblivion you got a high level. They were pretty badass, but. You know, the thing that I hate that I hate about all these uh, Elder Scrolls games is every single time they make a new one, there's less shit really that you know. You're not quite there's like oh, it's all this open world. I'm like, yeah, not so much compared to like the earlier games where the graphics suck. But goddamn, every goddamn NPC has will sit there and have a conversation with you. Yeah, you know. Well, anyway, and I got Doom for the Switch, but I haven't played it yet. And, and so, um, yeah. When is, when is the Skyrim going to come out for uh, the Switch? Very soon. Next week. Jesus. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, PlayStation VR, I might get that eventually, but I'm, I just... Because I actually own some games that were on sale for VR, but I... The Black Friday sale is supposed to give you Skyrim and the headset for 350 which is not bad, but... Christ, I got to fucking work Black Friday. I can't do can't buy it again. Just wait. Uh, uh, that's about it. Some car stuff. Nobody cares. Let's do our drinking game for the last 17 minutes of the show. Uh, if you've never played before, basically we're going to read off the Metro News out of Cleveland and Akron. And uh, if someone's been shot, you have to drink. Uh, not necessarily die, just shot. And... Um, yeah, we don't if want it to uh, happens on the east side of Cleveland, you have to drink. And if Jennifer Cha-Cha happens to be the person that announces it, or any other crime, oh. drink. Yeah. Oh, I did get like a, um, I ordered the, like the new Xbox, the Xbox One X, and Amazon lost it in Euclid somewhere. That's so not a surprise. They had to send me another one. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's real great. It's like, it just, like at 1.45 in the afternoon, I got this message. We've lost your Xbox. Call us, and we'll make it right. So I call them up, and they're like, well, I can give you your money back or send it to you again. It's not quite making it right, but since I ordered the thing, I'd like to get it, so we'll just send it again. So, so what's so special about the new one? Because I just, you know, we got the... the uh, and dice. It's, Xbox um, One came out of that long ago. It's more powerful. It's... Like, the PlayStation Pro was, like, you know, 50% more powerful or something. And so now Microsoft had to make theirs 50% more, 50 more powerful than the PlayStation Pro. So it's, like, it supports 4K and, you know. It, it has, like, more memory. It's, like, it's like a significant... It is a significant upgrade, but because of whatever weirdness that Sony and Microsoft have with developers, games that are written have to work for both. So all you'll get is more visual, like, extras. Like, there'll be more foliage in the background or something. Mm -hmm. but more trees for you to get stuck on. Your frame, frame rate might be better and everything, but there's not going to be 
so far for either console there's not going to be an exclusive game that just takes advantage of the power of either system so if you don't really have a 4k tv don't upgrade that's my advice that's right. my advice it's my advice okay. back to drink an ohio judge is trying to decide how to deal with a man who has been diagnosed with autism and has repeatedly violated his probation for sexual battery by asking women to touch their belly buttons. Nice. We don't Ray have belly buttons. Burier, 29, pleaded guilty Wednesday to a probation violation after he asked a female jogger if he could see her belly button. He had been convicted of sexual battery in 2011. Is that really bad? Is that? I mean, it's, it's creepy, but he's asking permission to just see her belly button. I could be drunk and just ask a woman that at the bar or something. Can I, can I and you would be button? guilty of battery. I guess. I, I don't think that asking somebody to see their belly button is considered battery, but, you know, these days... I mean, if he touched you're, it, if he, you're like, You're really just out, better off just, like, backing away slowly. If he just, like, he was like, boop, or something when he touched it, then maybe that's a problem. But, I don't know, it's kind of weird. The judge must decide whether to send Burrier back to prison... Or to treatment, that's not going to be good for him if he has to explain to other prisoners why he's in there. Or to a treatment program for sex offenders. Prosecutors say Burrier isn't autistic, and that earlier treatment didn't change his behavior. I'm autistic. Do you have the oh internet? God. I mean, there's a lot of belly buttons on the internet. Can't you just look at the yeah. belly buttons on the internet? You just have to come outside and ruin things for the rest of us looking yeah. at belly buttons. And you got the woman's trying right. to jog. She's like, who's this guy? Get out of the way. What are you, like, jog up yeah. next to her? <sighs> hey. <laughs> Can I see your belly button? Oh my god, I'm calling the police. A freak. Fair I mean, I kind of get it. Like, if there's kids around, you want them to see me. I understand. It's creepy. You don't want some creepy guy asking you to see your belly button. I'm just, I don't know if it deserves No, a good looking guy, though. That'd be different, I'm but, sure. But prison? Prison for that? That's, that is a bit weird. But yeah. then again, I don't know that guy's true story, so. Yeah, it's one of those things like, okay, he went to prison. I don't care. So it starts with belly buttons, and it escalates from there, man. It's a slippery yeah, slope, oh, man. <laughs> Goes to wieners. <laughs> oh, my God. Airfield, Ohio. Police say five people have been stabbed in a nightclub brawl north of Cincinnati. Oh. I only brought this one up because stabbing five people takes a lot of work, and we should give credit to the guy for right. like, uh, being able to stab five people in succession. Because... And not get caught. Yeah, I mean, because those people are just kind of like, you know, they're they're probably aware, at least by the second, potentially the third person, people are going to start backing up. Somebody's going to be like, I've been stabbed! You know what I mean? So at that point, getting those other two people is pretty, it's, it's difficult, right? I mean... Right. Hey, this dude's stabbing people and somebody's still standing there. Right, right. And then he's going to get stabbed, you know, you're not going to like try to turn around. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, that was interesting. Officers say they found some All people right. with stab wounds at the nightclub, while other victims showed up at nearby hospitals. Police haven't released <laughs> any information about what led up to the brawl that started in the nightclub and spilled into the parking lot. And knives were used. Yeah. Some dude just walks by, just happens to be stabbed. Heck, heck, it's like, heck, oh yeah, I was part of this. Yeah, I was involved in this. You know, the other day when we had that the shooting that went on in Texas, and that, that whole weekend where everybody was flipping out on the internet, I didn't know anything about it. I completely didn't see it on my like my news or nothing, and I don't really watch TV or you know weekends. I would kind of just fade the fuck out, except for video games. I had no clue until like Monday. They all blur you know, together. Like, at this point. like what the fuck was going on, man? You know, Christ. All the gun control friends of mine, I mean, they just they don't even wave the bodies to get cold. They're just like, and now we got to get rid of the guns. I'm like, I'm sure people are still gonna kill themselves. Nah, you know, they go crazy. I'm like, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut because I don't really care. Because I, mean, yeah. I haven't been shot. If I had been shot, that would have been a way different story, but. You, know. you would have cared. Oh, completely. But now it's like, eh. <laughs> eh, it wasn't me. Yeah, you know, I hate to be a mercenary about it, but yeah, I just kind of don't right. care. I get it. Cleveland you know, man is charged to. with aggravated murder in a deadly shootout. Drink. In the city's St. Clair right. Superior neighborhood. Drink. Also a drink. Terrence Lanier, 19, is charged in the February 26 killing of Tyrese Neal. According to court records, Lanier was arrested about noon Wednesday, shortly after detectives obtained a warrant for his arrest. Record show. His first court appearance has not been scheduled. 
Meal 20 was shot in the head while he was sitting in a stolen car on Jesus. 72nd Street near Donald Avenue. Uh-huh. Didn't know there was a street <laughs> right after you, Don. But... I, know exactly, I know exactly where it's at. Witnesses heard nearly two dozen gunshots during the shootout, according Jesus. to a police report. Not, not unusual for that era. One witness said the shooting began about 11 p.m., shortly after she spotted several men sitting in a 2008 Honda Accord. One of the men got out of the car and ran away after the shooting stopped, the report says. The Honda Accord then rolled down the street and came to a stop against a curb. Officers arrived minutes later and found Neil slumped over the steering wheel, the report says. Cleveland EMS paramedics took him to University Hospitals, where he died two days later. It's good friends that you have. They're just like, they see you get shot in the head, and they're just like, well, I'm out. I'm out of here. I'm right well, I mean, if there was a lot of bullets flying, it might be kind of harder to go in there and be the hero. You know, you don't want to get your fucking cap peeled back. No, I mean, it was already oh. over, and he just, you know. Street lingo. But I heard Yeah, 90s street lingo, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little throwback to the real shit, you know. Um, peel your dome back, yo. Yeah. Peel your dome, my God. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Ah. Hold on. I'm, I'm sorting through these here. Mm. Oh. Three former employees of an Akron group home passed state background checks and had not been disciplined before they were accused of beating a developmentally disabled man with a broomstick. Companies Why not? Disciplined. Get over here, time for your spanking. ViaQuest, a Dublin, Ohio healthcare services provider, fired three employees after learning of an investigation that resulted in criminal charges related to an October 23rd incident at a group home on Cliffside Drive in Akron. The police spokeswoman said Friday in a phone interview with Cleveland.com. You got three workers in, in like this thing. They're all together and they decide that they're going to beat this old guy with a broomstick. That old guy must have been a real dick. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you got to piss off all three uh-huh. of your healthcare workers that much that they're going to, you know, assault you like that. You know, you just got to imagine that guy. Like, Fuck yeah. If he's, if he's that old, why do you need three guys to do it? This is true really didn't like him. We're just <laughs> as shocked as everyone else and heartbroken by the allegations that have been made. Oh, said Emily Stickley, the company's vice president. We as a company had no indication they would behave in the manner as the alleged in the incident. Dominic Gladney, 23, is charged with felonious assault, abduction, abduction, and assault in the case. Octavius Tomlinson, 43, and Menyon Davis, 26, are charged with felonious assault and abduction according to Summit County Sheriff's Office. Gladney was a <laughs> home manager at the facility and Thomason was a project manager. The Sheriff's Office said Davis was identified only as an employee. Court records show that the incident happened October 23rd, but the Sheriff's Office learned of the allegations October 26th after it was contacted by the Ohio Department of Developmental Disabilities. What, so the people at the hospital think for three days were like, oh, his face looks really black and blue. That's mm, fine, it's just normal. The sheriff's office then notified <laughs> the Summit County Development Disabilities Board, which contacted via quest. That's too long. It's written terribly. I'm move on. Okay. I thought this one was just oh. kind of ironic. A uh, Toledo, Ohio. A woman crashed her SUV into a home next door to a house that was on fire. Then tried to run from the scene well, you'll have that. while wearing no pants. Yeah, so that that's not even a shocker, you know. That's the problem. Like, there's, there's I would probably me. move out of my neighborhood at that point. Like one house is on fire, somebody <laughs> drives into the house next to it and then runs away with no pants on. It's time to move. Yeah. It's like oh, okay, normal remember. for Toledo. That's what you're about to say. I understand. No, I was gonna say it was like like the old days of the apartments in Oakwood, <laughs> with Clint hanging out with no shirt on and stuff. You'd be like, why is he no? Why does he have no clothes on? Firefighters Sorry. already were on the scene of a house fire Wednesday night when the incident occurred. You ever wonder about that? Like those stores that are like no, no, no shoes, no shirt, no service. Like, why? Why exactly? Is it just because those guys that come in with no shoes and no shirt are are they an, code. are they a problem at the register or something when you're checking them out? You're like, evidently can't you can't. Uh, you ever, you ever be standing behind somebody at a convenience store with no shoes on? They're like, they're sitting there with no, you're like, why? You can't even, you can't even put shoes on? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even like, talk to them at that point. I'd be like, you know what? They're, they're, they're operating on another level. I'm not giving you and then you, and, because you got no shirt. 
<laughs> that's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like that, you know? Mister, Mister, you need to go outside and put your shoes on before I sell you that pack of gum. Wow. The guy might pull out a fork and start stabbing the guy to death, you know. It's completely, just... it's completely inappropriate, but it's still just awkward. Like, the guy just wants to buy something, just sell him something. Right. Get him out quicker. Kettering, out Ohio. A high school Ooh, Kettering. substitute teacher is facing charges after being accused of having sex with two students and sending yeah, nude Christ. photos, reports say. Madeline Marks, 23, a substitute teacher for Kettering and Oakwood schools in the Dayton area, is facing two charges of sexual battery. A judge said Marks could be released on her own recognizance after appearing in court Thursday, but she must live with her father while the investigation continues. Marks was arrested at Kettering Fairmont High School and taken to jail Wednesday after school officials became aware of the inappropriate relationship with two 11th graders. Immediately... Yeah, see, that... go, go ahead. 11th. Go ahead. Immediately, the administration began to investigate and also called Kettering police, who were very quickly brought in a detective. Kettering City School Superintendent. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you had to be right there. Innskeep tells the Daily News, we have a full-time resource officer at the high school also, and they began their investigation. <laughs> Court documents obtained by the Daily News show Marks admitted to investigators that she sent nude photos to one of the students using Snapchat and Instagram. She is accused of having sex with one of the students in July in the parking lot of a big lot store and with another student in September in an apartment complex parking lot. This keeps happening and I just don't understand why it didn't happen to me when I was exactly. in school. Because no, I, I'm fine that it didn't, though. We had no attractive teachers. We didn't. There was there was none. No, not even. Oh, not even a little. No, no. It really wasn't. It, it, see, I, it did happen at school I went to, but you know, I went to oh. Catholic schools with. Nuns and priests, so it was not nearly as <laughs> much that fun that up a notch, though, as, not. as what we're talking about right now. Not in the same, well, not in the same my, ballpark. Don't get me wrong. In my elementary school, my principal was uh, he he got fired and stuff for having uh, he was touching people though. <laughs> he was touching boys, you know. So it's like, yeah, that kind of happened, but it wasn't really what they, everybody wanted to do. Right. Whereas this is like seventeen-year-olds going like. This girl's 23, and she wants to have sex with me. I'm in, you know? You know, all that, Literally. Like, um, all that Harvey Weinstein stuff that's going on right now where every celebrity in the world's pointing out every possible wrong that happened to them in their life. Yeah, and um, Whether it's real or not. Hope Solo, that soccer player, goalie chick, um, was right. talking about how, like, the president of FIFA or something that's, like, 80 years old smacked her on the ass. And I just thought to myself, like, that is the bravest man ever. Because Hope Solo is the woman who, like, went to a family barbecue and punched out two family members and got right. arrested for it. And then, nice. like, they've had the police at her uh, at her husband and hers place, like, twice for brawling with each other. Um, She's got square shoulders than me. Yeah, she is a... She Not that is, I'm stronger enough. She is... She would knock that old man out. She, I, you know, that's a weird woman to smack her on the ass. That's all I got to say. I'm just saying she's not, you know... She's not dainty. Right. I had to tell somebody that story. I know somebody out there is going to be mad now that I'm making fun of sexual harassment well, you, or something. But... Let's just say this. The, the, at least, because they got Louis C.K. You've seen that one? Right, yeah. yeah. Louis, at least he just came out and was like, yeah, you know what? I did do that. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> he, he asked, He's like, I did. He did ask permission, whatever he did. Yeah, he was, it was He always told the women. He was He was always like, hey, you know what? Is it all right if I pull my dick out? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, inappropriate. And she, but, yeah, and if they said, and if they said no, he didn't do it. You right. Know? Yeah. So with him, I'm not sure what the problem is. For for me, I think the strangest one might be the whole Kevin Spacey thing, where he's like, I don't remember doing that, <laughs> but it kind of sounds like me. Yeah. yeah. So right. maybe right. I did it, and I'm sorry. Yeah, that sounds about right. He goes, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that sounds like that's, that's part for yeah. my course. Yeah, I totally don't remember it, but yeah, I, I can totally see me doing that. Yeah, I think some of this dilutes the fact that like Weinstein was like basically saying, I can make and break your career if you sleep with me, which is a big difference right. between... Um, that Sleep with me or don't have a career. Well, or just <laughs> like, you know, would you mind if I just pull my penis out right now? Because it'd be okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, they're just different things, <laughs> you know? But yeah. yeah. And I think it kind of dilutes it when we're getting into these B-list actors and stuff. Like, you know, there's a guy from Prison Break, you know, that, like, looked up somebody's dress or something. I'm like, really? Like, 
we can't stop teachers from fucking students. All right, we're not going to clean up Hollywood right now with all of their bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we we have, we have other things that we really. Right. Let's, let's just. I mean, I, I understand this. I'm not saying it's a non-issue. No, just of saying. course, right. There's, there, there, do we focus on this or do we start working on, you know, yeah. maybe getting more in depth? Like, realize like a lot of that shit that went out was from another generation and they're on the way out. I mean, there are a lot of dudes that are just really old and they're going to die soon. It doesn't mean that what they did is right. It just means you have the good fortune of knowing you probably won't encounter that anytime ever again. I just think keep, you it, know? keep it focused on her. At least, it's not to say you shouldn't from report that. on stuff, but I mean, we're just really reaching into the bottom. I'm Corey Feldman talking about I, rapes and shit that happened like 40 years. Oh, and then, and then Rose McGowan and stuff. It's like, you know what? You dated Marilyn Manson. Shut up. Yeah, there's some people that should just immediately be, I don't want to say discounted, but they're going to be held on another level of, uh, you know. I mean, I get that Rose McGowan scrutiny. was raped, but and that's yeah. bad. I But she took yes. money. She took money over it. And it's kind of like, uh, why? Why'd you take the yeah, yeah, all, yeah. All of a sudden, that's not rape. That's that's prostitution. It's not right. It's just, don't take the money. I mean, you know. Hey, it makes us wonder. It makes yeah. us question. Yeah, we weren't there, so what do we do? I know. Finally, yeah. our last one: a teenage because oh. we have to have one where you drink. A teenage girl was shot drink Thursday night in Cleveland's Mount Pleasant neighborhood. Police said, "Where's Mount Pleasant? Oh, it's on the east side." A 14-year-old girl was shot in the leg just before 9 p.m. in the 3600 block of East 116th Street, Cleveland Police said. The girl, whose name was not immediately given, was taken to Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital for treatment. Good choice in hospital. That's why she lived. Luckily, that's right. Authorities right did not provide a reason for the shooting. There was, one, uh, there was one article here that I didn't get to, but it was about this guy that escaped police custody because he was at Metro Health. And they finally, like, arrested him. And I'm thinking, yeah, he left Metro Health because he was trying to survive while he, was, <laughs> while he was there. And now he's got to go back and we'll find out that he's back. All right. That's it for the show. We'll be back next week with Whoa. more. And uh, good night. Late. Was, oh, peace. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, I was like, screw it. I'm done. Yeah. Bye, okay.